Hey YouTube, you've reached the Blackout channel. Okay, started this channel because I wanted to motivate myself and in turn motivate you. Whether it's in mind, body, spirit, emotional. Those are the things that we all deal with on a normal basis, on an everyday basis. We all have problems, we all have issues. As you can see, I'm a fluffy girl. Um, have not always been this way, but hey, life happens. But I have made up my mind and I made a commitment that this is the first day in the next book. The next book, not the next chapter, the next book. So um, I'm in my fifth year of marriage, happily married. Um, my son will be 13 on the fifth in a couple days. In four days, he'll be 13. Um, so I made up in my mind that I will not longer carry this much weight. You know, I'm confident in my fluffiness. But I know for health reasons, I have to get healthy. Um, I don't eat pork. I don't eat beef. But I love bread. I love cheese. I love sweets. Thanksgiving was a couple days ago. Today is December the 1st. Um, cooks my butt off. But we had so much food and so much sugary stuff. And I had an awesome time with my family. And I went in. So now, today's September 1st. I always do a detox this time of the year. To prepare myself for January. Um, where I usually use January as a consecration month. To focus spiritually. But this year I'm going to start a little early. So that by the time January gets here. I'm already in the swing of things. I can do all my mistakes. And my. Um, my fall off days now. So by the time January gets here. I can go full full steam ahead. I'm totally focused. Um, like I said. It just takes a commitment to go ahead. And make up your mind. This is what you want to do. And that's what I've done. So Sundays have been reserved as self-preservation days at our house. Um, whatever you have to do, whiten your teeth, shave, do something to your hair, get your eyebrows done, soak your feet, those type of things. We go to church on Sunday mornings. I had an awesome word this morning and um, now I'm here. I've decided to reach out to the world through video about this part of my journey I've done it before I did a couple years ago where I just followed my cleanse but I want to you know come to you through this through my whole entire journey of what I'm about to embark on I just feel led to you know make a video and be encouraging so uh, I'm going to take all of my measurements and my weight today I'm going to take all my pictures today um, I purchased the T25 workout regimen which I'm so excited about and I'm so dedicated to doing this. The first beach body workout regimen that I've purchased in the past, I have downloaded them or and or borrowed DVDs, workout DVDs from other people, but I didn't have any investment in it. So I would do it and then they would be it will start getting intimidating because I have bad knees. Thank you, Uncle Sam. Um, I have really bad knees and my fear is that my knees will go out on me and then I'll never be able to walk again <laughs> or in or skate. I roller skate. Today is our skate day. But um, I'm starting to get back into skating. But I'm just so afraid for my knees. So to overcome this fear, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to focus and I'm just going to do it. Today I'm going to stretch. Um, after I do this video, I'm going to do a couple stretches and prepare myself when I when I get on the floor, I probably forget all of this anxiety because I love to skate. I love to roller skate. Love, love, love. But tomorrow morning, I can't promise that I'll be in love with, with skating because of the soreness. But I have to get out there and start doing it again. Um, so, so that I'm not rambling. We're going skating tonight. Starting to work out tomorrow. I'm starting to detox tonight really today is day zero so i'm doing all my prepping and um i have some ck ckls pills that i pop before um it cleans my kidney spleen my colon um and then i do the master cleanse for 10 days and then follow the nutrition plan for the t25 i've told my husband who loves to cook who loves to cook and loves to spoil me 
his in order for him to support me i have to know that he is on board too because it's very difficult to embark on these plans when everybody's not on the same page so we've had that conversation a really really good heart to heart conversation about how i really want to stick to this and i really want to accomplish this and i know that now that i have committed to it and um i've financially invested into it and now have my family on board then hey i know i can do it and so i'm going to come to you guys on sundays and wednesdays because i know you don't want to see me every day some people just make a video just to make a video i want to have something to say so i'm going to come to you on sundays and wednesdays and hopefully i can be a motivation to you as i motivate myself so you guys be healthy if you're not at that place, just make up in your mind. But nobody can make that decision for you but you. Um, you can watch as many motivation videos as you want. But you have to make that conscious decision that, you know what, today I'm going to do something different than what I did yesterday. The definition of insanity is doing the same things over and over again. The same thing, expecting a different result. So at some point, you have to do something different. And I'm doing that different thing so that I can slim down some. I'm confident in my fluffiness, but my knees are crying for help. <laughs> um, so I'll show you guys my measurements here probably Wednesday because I'm going to do them today and get that prepped for you. So you have a great rest of this week. You be encouraged and be blessed. Know that God loves you. I do too. And um, talk to you guys on Wednesday. Peace.